In this SkyCAD tutorial, you're going to learn how to import parts from the online catalog, so you can use them in your projects without having to manually create them yourself. The SkyCAD online catalog is a collection of electrical manufacturer parts in the SkyCAD file format, which were all created by SkyCAD users around the world. If you download parts from the online catalog, whatever part you make or modify yourself in the future could automatically get sent to the catalog making it available for download to all other SkyCAD users around the world. In reality, this is probably how you would reach the online catalog most of the time. You would select a symbol on your schematics, click on Assign from Catalog, look for the part you want, and realize the part is not there. So, you would click on Reach Online Parts Catalog. Once you reach the online catalog, you will want to search for the part you are looking for. There are four filters you can use to search for a particular part part number, manufacturer, class, and description. For example, let's enter GCX in the part number field and click search. These are all the parts in the online catalog that have GCX somewhere in the part number. The search can be refined by adding another filter. For example, let's add a class filter and choose button. Once we click search again, we see all the parts that have GCX somewhere in the part number and were created in SkyCAD using the button class. Once you find the part you want, click on the plus sign, image, or any of the text to see a larger view of the image of that part and the layout view, if a layout view has been saved with the part. If you'd like to import this part into your SkyCAD catalog, start by clicking on Download. To import the parts you downloaded into your SkyCAD catalog so you can use them, from within SkyCAD, go to the Catalog Tools tab and select Import Packaged Part to Catalog. Then go to your Downloads folder and choose the parts file, which will be named based on the part number. Package successfully imported. Now, if you add a component to a project of the same class, the button class in this case, then choose Assign from Catalog, you will be able to select the part you just imported. That was a simple part that can be used on any generic button symbol. Next, let's download and import something more complex, like a drive. Clicking Reset will reset all the search filters. Let's search for a drive with this part number. That drive does exist in the catalog, so we'll download it. Next, we'll import the drive into SkyCAD. Package successfully imported. The button from before was a simple part that can be used on any generic button symbol. For more complex parts, such as PLCs and the drive we just downloaded, the procedure is slightly different. Let's start by taking a look at the drive we downloaded. To open a complex part that you've downloaded, such as a drive, go to the Block Generator tab and select Open Component. Choose the drive class. Choose the part that you imported. And this will open the part in the Block Generator. Now that we're looking at the part, we can see that the user who made this part included the drive's terminal information. Also, we can see that they filled out some extra information too, such as the description, manufacturer, power characteristics, and preview image. By going to the Home tab and selecting Open Layout View, we can also see the layout view. All this information is what we downloaded when we downloaded this drive from the online catalog. However, the downloaded part will not include the symbols that you'll want to use in your schematics, because the user who originally created the drive may have generated an IEC block, which is horizontal, but you may need an IEEE block, which is vertical. Also, you may want to separate the part into several blocks, instead of one large block. People often have different requirements and different setups, so all you have to do is let the block generator automatically generate the blocks for you as you want them. Simply select Generate Graphical Block and save it to your symbol library in whichever folder you wish. Now it's ready to insert onto your schematics. And that's how to import parts from the online catalog and use them in your projects. In conclusion to this tutorial, we invite you to post your questions about the online catalog to the separate forum we have created for that.